Now that there's time, Nuna explains what she saw in her vision of what's to come. An ancient, evil monster awakened and threatening the crown. Ship a port! I feel so bad. I can't see anyone on deck. At least no one living. What's going on? Huh? This doesn't seem like a coincidence. Better investigate and find out what's going on. Why? It's just like a trap, obviously. Once on deck, you can see several strange round objects, which are suddenly revealed to be eggs as they hatch open. Wow, so surprising. <laughs> okay, well, are they that strong? I mean, Nuna has to go all the way back. And I'm good. It seems easy anyways. Did they even attack me? I didn't notice. <laughs> Oh my god. Wait. And to destroy those eggs? Okay. Well, what do I do?
I'm not sure what's like what. They seem to be well and alive, but they're really not. With their enemies defeated, the scoundrels take a moment to investigate the ship. These were just regular fisher folk before they were murdered by their cargo. What are these weird eggs? And why are they transporting them? While you put the clues together, choose an upgrade for your scoundrels. Okay, a small intermission. Ugh, this island got destroyed. Let's just be real, I got confused. That's it. Because of the statues essentially that I couldn't destroy. It's not my fault. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> oh, we get to the juicy stuff with the upgrades. I think it's better for him to stay with max power overall because he just transfers power to other people. This set is very obvious because he's at the mage dealer. Those as well. More damage is always good. You've found more questions than answers. There's nothing more for you here. The scoundrels leave the ship floating dead in the water. I wonder what's the endings and stuff. Am I going towards the bad one? I mean, I did one part good and the island, I think, was the worst decision. We'll Thomas see. Thomas hasn't returned home in years. His manservant Wandsworth may know something. As night falls and the ship nears the Emerald, the crew fire a barrage of questions at Thomas. He holds up his hands for silence. He'll address each of them in his own time. Oh, interesting, because he was always the one to spam questions. The Hammer wants to know if Thomas made any weapons here on the Emerald. He deflects by saying that there's nothing in this inventory that she would want. She gives him a cold look that says she knows how to break weapons she wouldn't use. <laughs> Nuna senses something in these waters, something powerful. Thomas asks if it's magical and she's not sure, but then no one's sure if alchemy is magical either. The two briefly debate whether his concoctions are part of the natural order, but when he asks how natural her powers are, she ends the conversation abruptly. One of my first assignments years before I was made captain was investigating possible criminal activity on the Emerald. Six of our crew were eaten by giant insects, and we were nearly sunk by pirates. Do you mean to say I was investigating you? Thomas shakes his head and mutters something about research. As the Emerald draws near, Thomas waves aside any further questions. He has more preparations to make before revisiting his one-time home. That seems like a lovely place. 